hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here i am with the latest device from minix this is the minix ngc5 which is so far the most powerful mini computer that minix has developed now really quickly and if you haven't watched the unboxing experience which probably you haven't because it's in portuguese i will leave a link right over here and although it's in portuguese i do believe that you will enjoy it so click right over here and just check it for yourself looking at it at the left side or the right side to be more precise we will find a power button a 3.5 millimeter jack which also has optical out micro sd card two usb 3.1 ports a com port and then at the back dual gigabit ethernet connections two usb type a 3.1 one display port 1.2 hdmi 2.0 a and usb type c which we will talk a little bit more further and also a power input jack now on the other side we have two sma antennas a reset switch and also a cassette lock and basically that is it now underneath as i showed on the unboxing we have a cover right over here that we can replace the ssd nvme which is quite fast and i'll share the results in just a few moments but if we want to upgrade a little bit more then we will need to remove these rubber feet here at the bottom and once we remove them then we can access to the screws remove those screws and we can remove the bottom cover and removing the bottom cover we will face the motherboards now what did we find out when we did open it first of all i did find one thing really interesting which is a 4g lte e uh, connection or slot right over here which is really cool but i was thinking just a few moments ago yes it's really cool did find useful right over there and it might be useful if you take this somewhere where you don't have a 4g router or something like that but usually we have our phones with us so what if we turn it into a hotspot and then we can access so i really enjoyed to see it don't get me wrong but when i did thought a little bit better i don't know in which case scenario we will use that dedicated 4g lt there might might be some and it's great to see it here but i don't know but it's great because this is the first time that i see it on a mini computer just thumbs up to minix team we can upgrade the ram up to 32 gigabytes of ram i did use the s3 plus ram which has a warranty of lifetime so just have that in mind if you are choosing ram it we can also add the second ssd and in this particular case we will not be able to add the second nvme we will add to add a sata ssd and those smaller ones it's not the 2280 and i don't recall the size i did use one i've got one small ones because if we want to use one of the standard ones we will not have a screw and we would need to do a little bit of do it yourself to put it right over there it's not meant for that if i want to upgrade the main storage then we will need to remove the ssd that comes which is 256 gigabytes or 240 not really sure and we can then use a rocket 4 plus from Sabrent, which is the fastest ssd on the planet at the time of the recording and then you will have up to two terabytes that we can use in terms of upgrades so these are the changes in terms of upgrades that we can do uh, in terms of the fan it has a fan but it's really really quiet and it will just pump up if we are doing some demanding tasks but even when it ramp up it doesn't hear nothing special so now moving to the real world utilization of this mini computer first of all let's talk about the um, hdmi display port and usb type c all of them will deliver up to 4k at 60 hertz and yes we can connect like we have seen other minix computers up to three displays simultaneously with three 4k displays at 60 hertz you will be able to connect them all right over here without any issues besides that i will show you some benchmarks right over there in terms of the ssd i was really surprised because this is the first time that i see from default a ssd which is really really fast and we were getting roughly 2500 megabytes per second on reads and 1250 megabytes per second on writes which is just great in terms of wi-fi i was getting roughly 230 to 250 megabits per second download which i was expecting to get a little bit more if we use the gigabit then i will get the maximum of my connection which is 500 megabits at this moment so not bad at all but on wi-fi i wish it had a little bit more this connection is stable just the speed is not there and i really enjoy to see that thing at the end on the 500 mark 
I couldn't. Well, in terms of Geekbench and Cinebench, I will leave them on screen just so that you can compare with other machines. But let me do another comparison right over here, which is with a laptop which is recording the audio that you are listening right now. And that laptop is my MacBook Pro 13 inches from 2018, which has an i5 quad core CPU basically the same CPU which is right over there. Well technically not the same because mine is a little bit older than this one. My MacBook Pro has the i5-8259 and the Minix has the i5-8279. So this is a small improvement but we will not notice in terms of performance. But this just mentioned that I'm comparing this to one of the computers that I use on a daily basis and you will also see some laptops with the same CPU that it's right over here. So in terms of performance what can we expect? Expect, more or less the same that I've got on my MacBook Pro and if you want to edit videos and things like that then this will be a machine that will work and I'll show you some results. Now multimedia wise I probably shouldn't have tested because of course it will play Netflix and it will play Disney Plus it will be a great Plex server if you want to use a dedicated mini PC for Plex server and we have seen in the past other mini computers capable of doing this but this one has the extra CPU power which will give us more freedom to deliver and transcode video files if you are on the go and of course if you have a lot of people accessing your library so that is a great option playing some games we will be always limited by the integrated gpu which is on this mini computer or any other computer which hasn't a dedicated gpu so we will be able to play simple games like asphalt mine legends and things similar to that but more demanding games than the only solution that we have for this kind of machine is to use a cloud gaming service or game streaming as we have done in the past. Now one of the services that I use at this moment and I'm really enjoying is the Xbox X Cloud which works really nice and I did test it out right over here via Ethernet so that I could get the best connection possible and the results were really really nice. So if you want to enjoy one of these computers doing a lot of stuff and then playing some high demanding just have in mind that it has an integrated GPU and the USB Type-C it's only Type-C it's not Thunderbolt like my MacBook Pro for example which I can connect an external GPU and have a bigger performance right over here I can't do that so I will need to rely on cloud gaming and game streaming video editing as I was talking before because it has the same CPU as my laptop and as I edit videos on my laptop I can also edit on this one so I did install DaVinci Resolve 17 at this moment and what I did was just a simple timeline 1080 nothing spectacular no effects no transitions just to see if I was capable of uh, working with a video timeline and I do no surprises there the performance is there so no issues at all and then in terms of rendering so that you can get an idea using a five minutes timeline it did render in four minutes and 16 seconds so lower than the real time of the video file which is always great and it gives us an idea of what we can achieve with a mini computer such as this one so guys in conclusion this is the best mini computer that minix has delivered so far and the only thing that i did regret is that they didn't deliver it before and much before because it is a really nice machine but you have to have in mind of your needs will you need a machine that you just want a media player then you have on a minix lineup cheaper machines that will do a great job or if you need a machine that you will be able to edit videos and things like that and a more powerful plex server then this is a machine that you can rely and probably will be a great add-on to your set. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next.